So if I pick up my bow, drag it in and drag it out. There we go. We get no problems. Now this does say zero, so we should give this a value. And let's also equip with our button and that works. Hey there, I'm your host Lesoe, and this is part 22 of our inventory series. In today's video, we will be creating the equip button mechanic. So with that said, let's begin. Let's start by going to the content drawer, our inventory system folder, and the inventory component. Once inside, we want to create two variables, one called wb underscore player display, which is going to be of type player display. Like so, and another one called wb underscore container display. And this is going to be a container display widget. Let's compile and save that then. And with that done, let's open up the UI and we want to enter the player display and also the container display. So in player display on the event graph, inside of our two functions, display inventory and display hotbar, let's enter. Here we want to set the player display to be our selves. Let's just reroute that and do self. And that's done. We can copy that and do the same thing in the hotbar like so. Oops. And then this guy's going there and we're good. Cool. So let's compile and save this blueprint. This widget will go in here then on our container display and we want to do the same thing. So display inventory. We'll do um, set container display. And for that, we'll make it ourself, get the reference to self, reroute this, copy that, and let's go to the event graph again, display hotbar, and the same thing happens here. And let's compile and save. Next, we'll go ahead and open up the item tool widget. And in here, we want to create a new function called get item data. In here, it'll be as simple as getting a variable item ID. We'll do get row. Again, this will be our item data. And we'll just do a return node, which will return the data here. And we can call this our item data. And this can be a pure function as well, since we're not writing anything, just reading information. And let's compile and save. For our next function, then let's go ahead, create it and call it equip item. In here, then we want to get the inventory component that we have. So components, this guy here, we then want to get the player display. After that, we'll get the wardrobe UI. And after that, we'll get the equipment slots. And we'll do a for each loop. And we want to see if any of these will do get equipment category. If this category is equal to uh, equal enum, if it is equal to get item data, if it is equal to the get, I gotta break this open, uh, the equipment category here. We'll close that then. Okay. Looking good, we'll grab a branch like so. And from here, I want to get the item ID again. And I want to do a set, uh, not from here though. I want to set the item ID. Here we go. To this after it's been true. So we'll just reroute this like so. Bring this down and. There we go. That's looking good. Um, from here, we'll do another reroute. And the purpose of this will be we'll do character, get character equipment, and we'll do a add to new slot. And uh, the item ID will come from here. The item quantity is always going to be one and the index shall come from here. Get index. Um, 
right, that's that. After this has been completed, we're going to go ahead, continue with this line, and we'll do a refresh equipment slot. And after that, we'll get the inventory component, and we shall remove the equipped item in here. The index, again, um, where am I getting this? Get index. Go. And the equipment category is going to come again from here. Copy paste that. It's looking good, I think. Everything is okay. And on false, we simply do nothing. And on completed, that's fine. Cool. So let's compile and save. With that done, then let's go on the use function here. And over here, we're using the equip function from our inventory. We don't want to do that. What we'll do is we'll do equip item, which is calling this function here. And then we shall remove from parent. Let's compile and save. With that out of the way, next, we want to go ahead and add the item tool to our equipment slot. So for that, we need to actually go ahead and create a new widget. So we'll call it WB underscore equipment tool. Let's go ahead and open this up and we'll begin by adding a canvas panel to begin with. Then we'll have a border like so. And this border we'll call the item tool, equipment tool. We want this to be variable. The reason this is a variable is because we want to be able to set the position where it's supposed to be depending on our mouse. For size X, um, 120 by 140 shall do for me. Now, I don't have the color saved in here, but I'm assuming it's something like on the lines of this. Um, with that, I want to go ahead and add an overlay on top. Um, padding, uh, up to you, I would say zero. Uh, I'd grab another border. And then this would be border underscore actions. And I want this to be filled out with a padding of five, let's say. Yeah, five looks nice. And for the color, we'll just make it darker. Happy with this. Um, right. So then we'll do a vertical box inside this border, uh, fill it out with zero padding. And we shall begin by adding the item action widget in here. We want three of those. So one, two, and three. Select all. We can space them out. So fill. Um, what's the padding of 10? And in here, then we'll do on equip. We have what our drop. And don't forget to add in the indexes. So that's index one, index zero one and what we got the inspect that's index two and let's compile and save next let's go over to the event graph and before we start anything let's create some variables for our first variable then we'll do item id which again is going to be a name instance editable and exposed on spawn our next variable we want to do is our index, which again is a integer. Expose and spawn instance editable. Next, um, we want the inventory component. So again, blueprint component, inventory, instance editable, and expose and spawn. Lastly, then we'll go ahead and add the WP underscore equipment slot. And this will be of type WB underscore equipment slot. And again, instance editable and exposed on spawn. With that, let's compile and save. So one thing that I forgot is that the indexes here don't go in order. The indexes are supposed to represent the index, the same index that we have in the item tool. So this should actually be index two and the inspect, which is last, should actually be index four. And with that, let's then compile and save. Next, let's go ahead and open up our equipment slot. 
and we want to go on the mouse and do on preview mouse button down. We just want to update this. So everything that happens so far is fine. Now on false, what we'll do is we'll grab another branch and actually steal those like that. And the condition this time is that this is our right mouse button. So if that's the case, we'll um, create the equipment, create widget first of all, and do equipment tool. And then we see the item ID, index, inventory, and so on being passed in. So for the equipment slot, we're just passing in ourselves. Inventory we should have in here. Character equipment. Index is our index. And the item ID is our item ID. Select all, align it. Then we'll add to the viewport. And we shall return then as handled. We'll do handled. And that's all in here. Let's compile and save. So with that, we should be able to hit play and test our game. So let's pick up a ball and do drag. That works. If we drag off, that works as well. Pretty good. Um, it's a little laggy though. I don't see the image being displayed while I drag. So we need to fix that. And let's also equip with our button and that works. And if I unequip, we get this there and it doesn't really work. So um, two things to fix. So the reason our visual on the drag is not working is because I have this connected to the payload. Now this you want to go in the drag uh, visual. And this function we find in the equipment slot widget on drag detected function. So let's compile and save that and quickly test this out. So if I pick up my bow, drag it in and drag it out. There we go. We get no problems. Now this does say zero, so we should give this a value. So to change the value from zero to one, let's go ahead and open up our wardrobe UI, which is this. And then on our slots, we can simply scroll down and select the item quantity. Now, in our case, for our items, it's always going to be one because only one fits in here. So we could safely go ahead and add one. And if we compile and save that then and go to test, play, grab our bow and we equip that and take it off, should say one. And there we go. Next, let's go ahead and fix the equipment tool widget. So let's click on that. And let's click on the border underscore item tool. Now in the alignment, we'll do 0.4. And in the other one, we'll do 0.1. And that's going to give us our mouse around there. So let's compile and save. On the event graph, let's go ahead and create a new function called set equipment tool position. In here then we'll do get player get mouse position on viewport. We want to get our border underscore item tool and this just refers again to our border here and this is where our mouse is going to spawn in. That's because of the alignment. So in here we'll do slot as canvas slot and do set position to whatever our mouse is. That's good. Now let's plug this function. First of all, compile and save and plug this function on the reconstruct or my bad construct event. There we go. Uh, set equipment uh, to position. Compile, save, and let's test this. Pick up the bow, equip, and right click. There we go. So in the next episode, we'll take care of the unequip, drop and inspect, and everything else that comes along. So this is it for the video. In the next episode, we'll continue with the equip button. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like. And as always, happy developing.